keep what I had and start from scratch. So uh, what you probably want to do is start by making yourself a brand new um, event or project or however you're doing in your Final Cut. And now I'm no pro at Final Cut. I've been only using Final Cut for maybe two or three months. So um, I'm just making this video because I knew that it helped me a lot from other people's videos and hopefully I can make one simple for people that are just learning how to edit like myself. So um, the first thing you do is obviously go to import after you have your new project. Um, or actually, sorry, you don't go to import. You go to your um, text and backgrounds and then I'm going to go ahead and just pick one of the uh, backgrounds that come with Final Cut. Uh, I'm using Final Cut Pro X 10.34 so um, if you've got a little bit of money or something like that you're probably using one better than that uh, but this is a little older of the program so I'm going to go here I'm going to just grab that convergence background and stretch it a little bit uh, just so I have some stuff to work with some room to work with um, if you, I'm using a Mac uh, I'm sure some of these hotkeys and things are the same to make your stuff stretch out just uh, spread your fingers out on the mouse pad uh, so if you notice I went to M behavior to find this cursor scale in uh, I went to M behavior and I bought M behavior one and two I think those were maybe about a hundred bucks together but they come with a bunch of um, in and outs and throughs and um, text screens so I just dragged it uh, obviously on top of my converge box and then I changed my current verge box from squares to arrows and the color to purple then I'm going to my FCP tiles. Um, this is something also that I bought online. You can check those uh, products out. Um, if you really want to know the link, I can add the link on here later. Just let me know. But um, I think this collection costs maybe 20 bucks, but it has like hundreds. It might be more than that, but there's hundreds. It was really worth the money. So what I do is I go in here and I find um, title screens that I like. Uh, that have shapes that I like and then what I'll do eventually is go in and, and just take the words out um, But I start with uh, the basic shapes that I might like so I'm scrolling through here I know what I'm looking for that one's a little different um, There we go this one so I just uh, stacked uh, those two different um, Title pages on there one has that Star Wars opening and then the other one is this April looking thing with uh, the, the square diamond so I just go in there I'll take out the the text I'll change uh, the color to a gradient and then I'll just play with the colors and I kind of want something darker so I'll go down into my effects and if your screen looks a little bit different than mine I'm sorry I don't know how to make them <laughs> I looked at other people's tutorials I'm confused on why mine looks so different but uh it may be the the updated program so I'm just going down to my effects I'm gonna grab the tent and I'm gonna put a tent on that um, first block just to make it a little bit darker then um, that's what it all looks like playing all at once it's kind of a, a mess uh, so what I'll do is make sure I take the 14th out and then I'll click my other text pile I'll take the space wars out there we go and we'll put in our title watch me learn then I'll go out of here and I'll find change the text find something a little bit more playful something that kind of matches the channel that works so I'll just play with the size a little bit to get it to fit in between um, that title page that I have I'll play it back kind of see what it looks like not bad. <clears throat> Play from the beginning. There we go. And that cursor, uh, drag in, it's on in behavior. Like I said, you just play it on top, and then once it drags, it'll just show what's under it kind of on its own. You don't have to do anything from there. All right, so I'll go ahead and stretch this screen out. I, I want the um, watch me learn a little bit bigger, so I'll just play with the scale. And then I want the color a little bit more matching. Um, let's see here. All right, so we'll just use our eyedropper. 
So the eyedropper, I like that tool because then you can go in and find anything that's on the screen and just click it and it'll match your color. There we go. Let's see here. Mm. Eyedropper again. I didn't want it to match that. And that second gradient. There we go. There we go. I like that a little bit better. Let's go ahead and close that out. Uh, we'll play it back, see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to um, spread my fingers apart to widen out my screen. I'm going to drag these tiles under um, that cursor in just because I want it to pop out a little bit sooner. So we'll drag both of those tiles under. A mm, little bit sooner. I want those things to come out right when it's... There we go. I'm no waiting. Um, I might do another tutorial where we do some hot keys and buttons like that, but quick little thing if you're new to uh, Final Cut, you can move your start arrow thing, wherever that is, highlight everything, and then Command B to blade it, and then it'll cut everything you had highlighted, and then you can just delete where you want. And, <clears throat> and then those transitions end up cutting um, down. Uh, to make it fit. So now I'm going to put in a sound effect. Now, uh, you can find a lot of these sound effects online. There's royalty free ones or some you can pay for. Um, some I've paid for, some I've gotten for free. I don't remember exactly this one, uh, but I do have a bunch of whooshes. And I'm going to use this whoosh because I like the way it sounds. Uh, let's see here. There we go. And let's see here. And then I'll just, uh, I can, I command copy, then command paste V, command C to copy, then command V to paste it. And then I just add it at the end and reverse the time or reverse the sound. So the whoosh will kind of go away um, the same way it was coming in. Okay, so the last thing I think I want to add to this, so let's see how it looks. All right, so I wanna import uh, some music just to make it sound a, a little bit more engaging. Um, we'll see something that I've downloaded that I find. Um, hmm can't really find any music let's see what this sounds like hmm. can't find any music that's odd. All right. So if you can't, um, if you don't have any music ready to go, what you can do is what I do is I go ahead and go to um, YouTube. And then go to my YouTube studio. And then um, in your YouTube studio, they have uh, options where uh, you can get music where you don't uh, have to give attribution to. Um, I do it anyway. Like, I mean, I mean, I don't really know the proper way to really do it. Um, I do have music I've made that I don't really know how to put on there, but you go to the audio library and then in, in the um, 
detail section of the video, I'll go ahead and put um, the name of the person and the song. So I went to Attribution, Attribution made it um, so I didn't have to give it, found a song that's kind of poppy, so let's see. Uh... Alright, that one's not bad. So you can just go ahead and download it. And um, you can take it and save it to, uh, if you have a file of music somewhere, if you'd like to save it, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, me personally, um, I end up, I try to find new stuff and not overload my computer with just a bunch of music. So I usually just drag it to my desktop and then I make my final cut a little bit smaller. And then I just grab it and drag it in here. Let's see what the volume looks like. Huh, there we go. So there we go. Um, if there's anything in particular you want to see me um, uh, do in Final Cut, leave me something in the comments. If you want to learn how to do different kind of mask or transitions or things like that. Uh, just let me know and I'll see if I can do it for you. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, please subscribe. Um, until next time.